Good Monday evening, everybody. Come on in. Yep. Swy fish. It's Monday evening, and we're going to do a Monday evening fish fry. The kids are going to come by later. So we're going to do some um, swy, fit fry, swy fish. I got me some uh, little batter mixed up over here to make a few hush puppies. Um, some green peas. I haven't had green peas in years, I believe. And just going to be real easy breezy. They're out of the can. And, of course, this right here is Southern Style Potato Salad from Sam's Club. Like I say, for me, uh, if it ain't broke, I don't try to fix it. And I definitely don't try to reinvent the wheel. They have some pretty good potato salad. Just, just add a little bit more mayo to it and keep it moving and it'll work well. I love fish and potato salad and something green so the green peas are going to work this evening we didn't have any leftovers from sunday dinner last night so i'm back in the kitchen so i'm getting ready to um put a little uh louisiana crispy seasoned fish fry batter on this fish i've mixed the two because one is hot and one is regular so all i did was just mix them together and i'm going to uh, sprinkle that batter over the fish the see the the um Breader is already really very well seasoned, but I put a little bit of lemon pepper on there just to have that little lemon flavor to it. So hang on just a minute. I'm going to get this fish going. And, uh, well, I've got to get my grease really good and heated up. I don't know when they're going to roll in, but I'm going to go ahead and start frying a few pieces right now because Kareem's ready to eat. It's 6 o'clock, so we're going to be eating sort of late this evening, but that's okay. So we're having a Monday night fish fry. I mean, you can fry it in time. It don't always have to be Friday night. Hope you all are having a God-blessed Monday. Hope things are going well for you. Uh, I was looked at the news this morning <clears throat> and all the shootings that happened in, the, in this last few days. I'm telling you, we just have to continue to pray without season. So prayers are going up for all those, if, those families that have been affected by those shootings, for the ones that were injured, and, of course, for life loss and, and um what I was talking about yesterday when, you know, people are dying out and things are happening and people are trying to get over these things. First Corinthians 15, uh, verse 25 through 26. Just go ahead and read through that and know that soon time God is going to take away the sting of death because death is that last uh, enemy, but it's one that we have to endure as until he comes back again but just trust the lord for strength for health for comfort no matter how it comes uh, it's hard it's just hard it's a hard death is a hard thing and so for every family that lost some loved ones and all these shootings of the children that are being killed in these shootings lord we just lift up each family each heart every friend of those victims we just lift them up to you right now in the name of jesus and pray god that they will feel the comfort of your loving arms around them to see them through this situation because you said it in your word oh god that it's still here it still exists but when you are ready then you're going to come through and that the the enemy of death is going to be taken away so uh again my 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 deep felt my my sympathy my heartfelt feelings for you if you are listening to this uh, YouTube channel if you've lost a loved one recently or at all in any kind of way my heart goes out to you because I know what it feels like death is hard I don't care how it comes and why it comes so that's why we have to continue to pray without ceasing that's why we have to lift up the name of Jesus and let him know that we believe what he says, that in due season, all of this stuff is going to be taken away. But until then, we have to endure. We have to stand. We have to trust. We have to put on that full armor. We have to uh, <clears throat> trust that God is still in control of all of this stuff that's going on. Uh, for the, the vaccination thing, you know, we pray that everybody will at one time say, okay, I want to get the vaccination so that we can move this train forward. But in the meantime, until then, we still encourage people to go ahead and um, get those vaccinations so that uh, someone in your family won't have to endure the sting of death right now because of something that could have really been prevented. But as we know, we don't know what God's plans are for us, but we have to just trust him and know that whatever his plans are for us, 
they are for us and it's going to happen just the way he sees fit so again uh deepest sympathy for the, all of those of you who are going through financial problems uh marital problems problems with your children whatever the situation is we lift it up to jesus today and we ask father in the name of jesus that you would give us some comfort and we know that you told us in your word that you give us new grace and mercy every day help us incline our ear to you lord and you know help us to help ourselves in other words so with that being said i'm going to get back to this fish because i'm about to feel myself getting wound up y'all i'm telling you that news will get me going every time so anyway love you guys thank y'all for dropping in it's hot in this kitchen honey it's hot in this kitchen it's muggy outside and you can tell the difference even on the inside so we're just going to go ahead and get this fish going and know it's going to be nice and crispy i know kareem is up there probably saying grandma get that fish going and the rest of them will be on here in a little while so got that that grease is just good and hot and then this little i think i'm just going to do those hush puppies and the little skillet i'm gonna let the uh potato salad set out so it'll get to room temperature and we're just going to have us a nice monday evening family thing make good memories with your family y'all i'm tired this evening and it's hot and muggy, but I, I seize every opportunity that I can to be able to gather with my family because you, we don't know what tomorrow might bring. We just absolutely don't know. So um, be kind to one another as often as possible. Make good memories with your family and your friends. Call somebody, text somebody, fix a meal, have them over, break bread with them, whatever you can do because we don't know from one day to the next what the other person is going to do that might create something in your life. So... Let me get on to uh, battering this fish up, and we're going to get it in that grease in a minute. So y'all hold on for me. Okay, I got some fish. I'm battering this fish up and about to drop it in this good old hot olive oil. Um, <clears throat> you know, this is, uh, I, I think I told y'all, this is swipe fish. It is very good. It fries up so nicely, y'all. It fries up so nicely, and I love it. I mean, oops, if you ever, if you have never, rather, had swipe fish, try it. It's a nice, big, uh, hearty, meaty fish, and it fries up real nice. So y'all can tell my stand is not doing right. I want to have to go and invest in another fan stand one more time. I don't know what it's going to take, but I'll figure it out. So we're going to get that first one in. <clears throat> Probably about three, four minutes on each side. Because like I said, these are nice. As you can see, they're nice and meaty, meaty fish. Very hearty fish. And I love it. I love the flavor of this swipe fish. I have fallen in love. I thought catfish was my all-time favorite, but the swipe is sort of kind of moving the catfish over out the way. So you see how big those fish are? This is a 20-inch skillet, so... These are some big old fish. I didn't cut them this time. So we're just going to let them fry about three or four minutes on each side. And they'll be ready to come out. These will be going on Kareem's plate because, honey, he's ready to eat already. So y'all hang in there. And we're going to get the rest of the sides ready. And we'll be ready to sit down and eat. Okay, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and drop a few crush puppies in this hot grease. I think it's hot enough. The fish is coming along just fine. Frying up. Go let our in, Sally. Well, I told between 6 and 6.30, I mean, it's just both of them now. You need to try fish and have it sitting cold. So it's okay. I'm going to fry it up anyway. And they can uh, heat it back up if it's cold. What's up with you? Yeah. No, um, 
that girl's brother. Uh, I seen that Monica's brother. She had no word from Dexter. Yeah, we can chat back and forth. I'm good. Okay. We can talk to you. We have to go to the room and have a look at you. Yeah. Okay, y'all, dinner's about ready. This is Kareem Play. He's getting ready to chow down now. Okay, everybody, the fish is fried. It's, this is the Monday night fish fry. And I do believe, well, maybe we're going to leave that in there a couple minutes longer. But uh, for all practical purposes, this meal is finished. Uh, fried swai fish. There's some in, some out. Got the green peas over there. And of course, we got the that good old southern potato salad. Compliments of Sam Club, y'all. So we've done it here this afternoon for the kids. The kids are here. They're ready to sit back and relax and enjoy this meal. So thank y'all for tuning in. Thank y'all for continuing to pray without ceasing. And please, all the things that have happened over the weekend, all the shootings, please send up an extra prayer for those families. And those who've lost loved ones or have loved ones that had to go to the hospital. And for all the things that are going on this weekend, just continue to pray with our season. Uh, see somebody a, a kind word. If you know any of these people, please by all means try to get some kind of message of comfort to them, some kind of way. Because life is hard enough as it is without all the shoes and the other things that are going on. So listen, guys, thank y'all for dropping by. Love you guys. Thank you all for your encouragement, compliments. Well wishes, uh, prayers, and blessings. So keep those prayers going up now so the blessings will continue to come down until I decide to cook something again. Love you guys. To Lou. Tyler, come on. You want to say bye? Hurry up and say bye. Mama, if you Hey, I ain't messing with you today. She, oh, she discovered a new, there it is. Cairo. And there's, um, my grandson and his wife, Monica, that's McCall, and of course, Tanya's sitting over there at the far end. So listen, guys, keep those prayers going up so the blessings will continue to come down and pray without ceasing. To the loose.